I just like to fly through the air. And I love what it feels like when you make no splash. It's just the coolest feeling in the world. Three-time Olympian and gold medalist Laura Wilkinson is used to beating the odds. Laura was the first American woman in 36 years to win gold in platform diving. She did so in spite of shattering her foot in three places shortly before the Olympic trials. In one of the most memorable comebacks in Olympic history, Laura blew the competition out of the water. To go into the competition, um, first of all, with three broken toes, and then do what she did was, that's, that's incredible. She kicked their rear end with a broken foot. I don't know how you do that. Laura would go on to win many titles, including the 2004 World Cup and the 2005 World Championship, making her the first woman in history to win all three world titles in platform diving. But Laura yearned for another title, that of mom. When I finished diving, the only other thing I wanted to be was a mom, and that did not come as easily as I thought. You can't like just work really hard for that, like diving, and then it just happens. So we had some infertility struggles, and that was really hard, um, but adoption was close to my heart. Despite some setbacks, Laura and her husband Eric eventually had four children, two by birth and two by adoption. Now 11 years later, and her family of four well underway, Laura seeks a fourth Olympic dream, so when Laura decided to come back to diving, uh, her goal was the Olympic Games. And so we decided to do everything we could to help her get there. And so we downsized, we cut spending, we readjusted our life in terms of what was the focus, and we got behind her 100%. With the support of her family, Laura started training and diving again. That's when she noticed something wasn't quite right. This last fall in 2018, I noticed every time I went up to the 10 meter, my arm was collapsing and I, and I felt strong, like physically my muscles were good. So I didn't understand why it kept collapsing. And uh, my chiropractor recommended I get an MRI of my neck, that it's probably something nerve related. And um, sure enough, Dr. Shedden kind of walked in and told us exactly what was going on. Laura's myelogram CT scan showed degenerative disc disease as well as significant disc protrusion at C5, 6 and 6, 7. Uh, distorting the spinal cord as well as distorting the nerve roots. If she did want to regain function of the triceps muscle on the right side, getting the seventh nerve decompressed was really important to do. I thought I was ultimately going to have to make a choice to fix my neck if I wanted to dive, but what I was told was you have to fix this in order to not have a catastrophic event happen, um, just to be a mom. And so that was a little scary, but also a little relieving that it was just something I had to have done and, and I didn't have to make a choice, so that was a, a blessing in disguise. Dr. Shedden chose to use Orthofix cervical solutions, which included a cervical plating system to stabilize her spine, the Trinity Elite Allograft to aid with bone fusion, and the cervical stem bone growth therapy device. I wore that thing religiously every single day. I was not a day without it. You know, I would wear it out and about. I mean, it's great. You can just I just threw it on my neck. It was just like wearing a big necklace out. The cervical stem device uses low-level pulses of electromagnetic energy to stimulate bone growth at the fusion site. I guess I was just always very hopeful that it would work. Like I've, I've been through so many kind of rehabs and, and overcoming things that I know any kind of small thing that can, can help and make a difference, that all adds up. So I was, I was all game. When Laura mentioned to me that she would like to start diving, I wasn't that shocked by it because that was always part of the discussion with her, although her family came first. But she had seen such a positive response, I think she in her own heart could see an opportunity. I've been coaching Laura since she was 15 years old. Uh, her competitiveness, her joy for life is unmatched. And for her, I think that the future is, there's no limit to it. I think uh, the best advice that Kenny Armstrong has ever given me was to aim for the top. Don't just try and make the Olympic team, go to win. Go big or go home. The best feeling in a dive is when you walk to the end and you put your arms up and you just know what's about to happen. You jump. You fly through the air, you're just in that perfect zone, in that flow. You kick out, you hit the water, and it just goes silent. And you're under the water, and you know that you have just nailed it.